QR codes are powerful tools for connecting the physical world with the digital world. Did you know that High Level has a QR code generator and it's not just a generator that sends people to a website. You can also have a QR code scan, prompt someone to send a text or an email with a specific message, call a phone number, or even leave a review on Facebook or Google. And as if that wasn't enough, all of those actions can be integrated with the workflow builder so you can trigger a waterfall of automations from a single QR code scan. And the best part is it's super easy to set up, so let me show you. All right, so here we are inside of your high level account. You're gonna to navigate to sites and then you're gonna hit QR codes here. And then I'll just hit create QR code. So as I mentioned, we have all these options here of what can happen once somebody clicks on the link, which is super cool. They're all quite straightforward. And I'll show you many tutorials of how to do each one so you can at least see. But for the purposes of this first demo, I wanna show you the review link one because I think it's quite cool. So let's go ahead and call this review test and hit next. And just to bring this example home, this would be like a QR code that you have in person, let's say at a restaurant or any other type of business that just says, hey, leave us a review if you had a great experience. So in our case, let's go ahead and select Google. And what you'll have to do is swap this out with your Google business page URL. So either you or your client will have to grab the direct leave a review link. I do have access to a couple clients, Google business pages. I'm going to blur them out here. But what will happen is if you Google your client that you have access to, this ask for a review button will show up. And then you can just copy that and head back over to the QR code generator and paste it. Amazing. So then we head to the header and this is what's going to pop up. If I hit next here, you'll see at the top. So you can change that if you want to leave us a review, some other type of language. You can also delete this all together. So it is just the QR code. And then when you put this into a design software and print out the final card, you can add the leave a review above that if that's something you'd like to do. But if you'd like to add it, you just say leave a review and then you can change the color, grab your client's hex codes pro tip if you don't have them already. And then you can match it every single time. And then for the footer, it's going to have the location picture if you have that uploaded as the default here. So you can swap that for a smaller logo or something else, or you can delete it all together. And that's what's going to pop up here at the bottom. And I'll show you what it looks like without anything. There it is. So the next customizations we can do on here is change the background, the dots, the border color, and the center color of our QR code. And this is all going to be actually within the QR code itself. So this kind of gray outline here will stay, but you can change the stuff inside. So let's go ahead and change the dots to blue here and select some blue. Beautiful. Just as a pro tip, if you want to copy paste a color, don't paste it here it won't update you're gonna to have to click here and then paste it there hit enter and then it will update however if you're pulling from somewhere else or you've copy pasted the color from somewhere else for example what i do is go to my client's website and i can just pick the color with a chrome extension here you can just paste that in and that one will work so kind of got a couple different colors of blue there which looks good and i'm going to leave the background as white because that's going to make for some better scanning when it comes to the shape and the form you can use any of these different ones if you think that looks cooler you'd like those to look different and then what's cool is you can add a logo in the middle so for us we're asking for a google review so we'll put that in there but if we wanted to upload like a specific image for example our logo we could do that as well or add any of these kind of fun looking ones there and then if we want to add a background to the entire thing this one does have to be an image so for me i've got this example of like this gradient type background i'm going to hit it and that will go in the background you can see my words are kind of hard to read now i could change that or i could you know decrease Increase the opacity there, change it a little bit. That's good to go. If you've made any changes from the original URL you've put in here, you're going to need to hit save first before it will start working properly. And then what I can do is just scan that. See, I've got this page. It's not showing on the screen, but I will put it up here. And that's exactly what shows up if you copy it correctly. Pretty insane, right? And I want to show you how all of these can integrate with the workflow builder. But before I do that, I want to show you how the other ones work here. So when it comes to creating a website based one, this is pretty straightforward. It'll just send them to a website. So you put in the URL there and then you can swap out all of the same things. There's no header or footer for any of the other QR codes besides the review link. So again, just take that QR code, download it, upload it into a design software and do whatever you want to do there. And you'll have more freedom to create it exactly what you want the actual car to look like that you're giving out or that you have posted at an event or whatever it is. When it comes to a call QR code, you just put the number that you want to be called. So in this case, I'm just going to put a dummy number in and hit next. And when you scan that, it'll show up on your phone just like this. All right, next up, we've got SMS. And this one's very cool because not only can you decide which phone number it's going to, again, just putting a dummy number in here, you can say what the message is. So let's say, for example, you're at an event, you're running a giveaway and you say, hey, text giveaway to this number or just scan this QR code. So I'll make the number 
giveaway. And then when I scan this, it's going to populate that number and it's going to have the text giveaway in the message field. So all I have to do is hit send. Same thing with email. Quite cool. You can actually customize the email that it's getting sent to, the subject and the message. And when somebody scans it, it looks like this. So next up, I want to show you how this integrates with the workflow builder and how you can trigger things. But I do want to show you that there is an analytics section here as well. And you can change based on time. You, you can select which QR codes you want to look at and how much they've been scanned and the total amount here which is very cool but we're not done yet we got to see how this works with the workflow builder so let's go ahead and create a dummy workflow we'll start from scratch and i'll show you a few examples of what we can do so our first example was a review request right so if i go ahead and hit trigger this is what's going to trigger any cascade of actions afterwards i can just hit review new review received and i can filter by the rating the source if the review is spam or any other custom fields that i want to and once i've set that trigger up i can trigger any of the actions that you see here based off of that. I can send them a text, an email saying thank you, saying you've been added to a giveaway, whatever. The next example was sending them to a standard website. Let's say, for example, that your client wants to get more emails on their email list. You can say, hey, join our email list for free Wi-Fi or for $5 off your next order, or whatever it is. What we can do is create a form specific to that QR code. So we know they've scanned based on the QR code. And then we just hit form is. We select whatever that particular form was and we save. And then again, we can trigger any actions based off of that that we want. When it comes to the email, email, SMS, and phone triggers, what you're going to want to use is the customer replied event. And as you can see here, we can sort by any of these things. So contains phrase, doesn't have a tag, exact match phrase, has tag, intent type, replied to workflow. But what we want is replied to channel. So let's say somebody calls, we have the QR code calling the number inside of that sub account then we can trigger text based off of that as well. Maybe not an email because we probably wouldn't have their email yet if all they've done is call us. But the same thing goes for them sending us a text or sending us an email. But what's cool about this one is we can also add contains phrase or exact match phrase like I talked about earlier. Giveaway, say somebody texts us. By the way, I know it says reply. Even though it's the first time they're reaching out to us, this will still work. So let's say they text us and they say the exact phrase giveaway. Then we text them back and say, You've been entered to the giveaway. Raffle drawing will be at 2.30 in the galley. See you there. Whatever we want to do, right? And then we could add a wait step and wait for a specific time on Friday, let's say at 2.15 and remind everybody to come to our drawing at that, that second SMS there. You get the idea. Super powerful. Awesome that High Level has the QR code functionality, but really where the power of this comes from is being able to trigger actions, workflows, all sorts of fun stuff, anything that we need from that QR code scan.